trendsetters and tax dodgers. How you going? Benjung Day. Um, I'm just out of the gym, coming down a crazy corner now. Gonna go for a nice leisurely afternoon ride. This guy wants to come over. Into the tourist district, into the night markets. We're a couple of weeks out of going on our far northern trip. I want to see what type of bargains they got at the night markets. I'll follow this dude, thank you very much. See what type of bargains they've got in at the night markets. Um, as far as kids' clothing and things like that, we know what we can get in at the bulk pallet sale markets where we've gone before. But seems uh, this is a bigger trip and we will be replenishing our load a few times. We're going to leave the engine all stocked up. So I thought it, a good, it would be a good excuse to get you guys in here, have a look around the tourist area and see what it's like. What is it, about nine months after the gates have opened? There we go. Thank you very much guys. See how many foreigners are back in town. See what it is like around um, this part of Vientiane. So sit tight and uh, enjoy the ride. It's a farang there. Yeah, just in the last week or so, even Nini's noticed it. There has been a lot more tourists walking around this part of town now. It was a bit slow than coming back, but if we turn right here, the markets are up there, but I'll turn left here, go down. I want to see if D-Mart is open, opened up yet. They took over our home ideal grocery store. Here we go. This will take us down past uh, the Walkman shop. We can get a, a good range of good quality clothing, a, a reasonable price, but in a lot of different sizes for you bigger dudes. We do have a bit of trouble finding clothes here. So, and across the intersection here, they'll be getting ready for the night market, uh, the night food, street food stalls. Yeah. That is where D-Mart is going in there, taking their sweet time about it. And the Walkman is upstairs there, just adjacent here with the flashing lights. It's another good clothing store. Probably paying similar to what we would be back home, but it is um, good quality there, but very early. We'll duck back along this way on the way back from the night market. See how much busier it is then. They're just starting to set up Hello, haven't seen that before. Burger, chicken, peach and drink. Nearly looks like KFC colours, doesn't it? Sabade. This 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 area is just getting longer and longer, isn't it? Very popular area now. It used to be alongside just across the road from the night markets but there's too much traffic there too dangerous for pedestrians lining up to get food a couple of farangs just arrived <laughs> looking for their guest house what a joy that is hey looking concrete pump Guys are working late. 
that's a nice place aren't it you're looking for a hotel i don't know the name of it but shit bang right in the center of everything and the cultural hall in front of us i'm sure a lot of the um longer viewers have seen around here before but it's always good to freshen the videos up because this place just changes so quickly it does Right, uh, so what we will do is shoot straight across the road here up into the night markets one way coming from the right also there we go Find a good post to lock this bike up on. We'll go for a bit of a, a walky walk. Looky look through there. Just so they don't piss off for me bloody water gauge. It is mainly down to the left. They sometimes have stalls, not folded or packaged, just all chucked in like this. Yeah, for good price, it's like 15,000 kip. Just rummage through that. I'm not going to get any today, but I just wanted to make sure they were still here, what type of clothing it was. Good shirts and that, with pants for guys. 15,000 kip is $1.50 Oz. It's about 80 cents US, even if that's just the shirt, but I've got a fur on it's for the shirt and shorts. Like even if it ain't, still a good bargain. I think we paid about 2,500 kip last time. And the kip is worth even less now. So that is much cheaper. Bit of a bare bones bite. Okay. And a lot of these guys are still just setting up also. As you've seen or no doubt will see, we have invested in some tubs to chuck in the back of the ute with lids so they're sealed, they won't get dusty. We're just a KC. That's all I know it as. A KC Chinese market shop. They sell a whole heap of stuff here. Mainly for restaurants and homeware, stuff like that. We came here for these things. Sick and tired of going through plastic bags in the back of the car, not knowing what we've got left of stock to be giving out to uh, some of the poorer people in the villages. So we're investing in some of those tubs. So we're gonna have a tub for the boys, tub for the girls, tub for the mums and babies, blankets, things like that tub for rice and food stuff have it labeled and we can keep them in the back then they've got lids now the dust isn't going to get on them we can load up well 
we're going to be restocking while we're on the road but thought we'd invest in some of these tubs you're looking at they're about bloody ten dollars us a tub uh this size we got just fits underneath the um roller top on the ute something we did pick up when we were at the mong market in long San was pillows uh to go with the blankets we were given away they're too big too big and bulky we got about 20 of them two big plastic bloody bags so said so not doing that again on our way walking out of here seeing all these you're probably wondering why do you want to get them a, a blanket and a pillow we're giving the blankets and the pillows to the young mums and that for the babies uh, so they've got something nice and soft to lie on something to be wrapped up in so these uh sipan each which is uh one aussie dollar 60 us cents you get over 10 of them they're half pun each so that is like not even um 30 us cents a pillar so half on each we're going to get about 30 of those 30 of these would fit in one of those tubs throw in some blankets also we only come here for the tubs but seems they're just selling out of these um not going to risk coming back and them not having them here so 30 of them works out at 150,000 kip which is 15 aussie dollars which is eight us bucks for 30 pillows it is nini's nini's claim, claim some just for her to lounge on the the sofa at home oh i, I believe you i can smell it yeah the tea you sure tea. it's tea yeah might tea. be able to smoke that because this is a healthy pillow that's a healthy oh yeah it's a bit more grainy granular that where these ones are these ones are mulled up a bit more and the, these ones still tea still tea yeah but they just just cut finer yeah. it's mulled up yeah. yeah ever heard of that tea in a pillow my staff in the buffet last seafood <laughs> i not remember her oh you're a good boss <laughs> but now remember already ah uh, i don't remember her <laughs> a bit better, but in buffet Lao seafood before covid ah uh, okay yeah. okay does she, does she want her job back? <laughs> She's got about 35, 35 pillows. Worked out to be cheaper than one bloody tub. These are all freebies, Nene. Free. They want to donate. Ah, very good. Cup J. Five tubs there, one's inside the other there. One's there because they didn't put the lid on properly, so he needs claim one tub. As you can see, four will spit in the back. Very good. Sakti, Hootie Mahang. There's another one there for young girls and that too. Fifteen thousand. Also, we've still got all those dresses, handmade dresses from Julie in Oz, Victoria. Just um, been hanging on to them to give them specifically for the little girls up in the hill tribes. They really do need some quality stuff like Julie made. So, you will see them disperse, Julie. Thanks again for that. Extra, extraordinary effort. I think this is where I came in. Yeah. Oh, no. 
crazy road this trying to get across to the right if I want to want to turn down to the right here Monks on tour. <laughs> this guy is looking for a park. I think he's out of luck. Come on, dude. There we go. Turn down to the right, down to Street Food Alley. They don't even have it closed off yet, that's how early we are. It is a Wednesday also. Not as many about, but as I thought, but we are early. Um, car ride up my coit. There we go, dude. That's why he, he snuck up on me. Bloody electric thing. A neater. There we go. Hello, back behind the monks. More monks. Whoa. Got them jam packed in there. Um, there has been a change to our plans going up there. We are leaving at the beginning of December. Um, initially we did have, from after the first week in December, unlimited time we could be away for. Uh, because in the first week of December, uh, Nene's family was going to have a memorial for their father, shift his bones over to the military um, graveyard cemetery but that has been put off until the first week in January so we have to get this trip done and be in Senkwang on the 24th of December for Mong New Year so we have to leave early in December and get up to Fong Sa Li we're going to be spending about 10 dozen days up with the hill tribes right up the furthest point of Laos Lao in Phong Sa Li so um, get that done and then make our way back to Sen Kuang and we will be finishing our trip with the Mong New Year it was reversed before we would have been starting our trip with the Mong New Year so no changes as to when the series will start really but um, a change in order of how the videos will come through our destination uh, that's only two weeks away well yeah 13 days isn't it well how about this traffic eh I hope you guys can hear me because I'm not talking real loud I'm just like talking to myself and this is the best thing about a treadley 
you can get away with it a bit better up on the footpaths than you can a motorbike. Oh, straight over now. Electric thing also. There are a few electric vehicles here now. Especially these little um, sort of work utes and scooters. Especially with the price of fuel here. It's up around $2.20 Australian. Dearer than what we pay in Australia. <laughs> you go mate You go you good thing How far can he make it? Gotta keep that front wheel up on the footpath Ah, that's where he was going Right eh? Hey buddy. Hello <laughs> buddy. Hey, Ben Yang Dai. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Killed him off the start. Sneaky, sneaky. There's me gym there, upstairs there. Hopefully my old mate is here with bananas, it doesn't look like. Oh yeah, I was looking at the wrong one. There's the duck and chook lady. Get off the gut footpath then, wouldn't I? There's the lady. Uh, McCoy. Daddy. Sit down. Go. Go. Go, man. Bye. Ah. I thought you said sow. Gow. Hey, sit. It's okay. Stay alive. Go, Jay. I thought he said sour man. Oh, 20 dollars of the banana, but yeah, deaf, it was gal. Which is only 9,000 kg. Got me blinker on. There we go. Oh, no, my dudes. 
Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the ride into town. Not as busy as, as I was hoping it would be, but good cool down from the gym. Uh, see you in the next one. We're still up in Saisenbun, Long San area. So uh, hope you guys are enjoying that. Take care. Pretty spiffy place that, isn't it? They've just done it up. Check out this mansion, how they're coming along with it. Probably can't see. But for those who thought it was a rain gauge, that was very clever. But it's not. It's just to sit my GoPro back in its holster spin you mothers around it really is like being in a video game riding through this traffic Unfortunately, you don't always respawn. I usually go around those guys like that because you just don't know when they're going to pull out in front of you. To make you swerve to the left straight into a friggin' car. I did say goodbye to you, didn't I? Cheerio. Tally Herbert.